Hi, welcome back this week to the Michelle Valentine oh, right Show. Then. I'm Michelle Valentine. And I'm Joseph Izquierdo. Yes, I am. You are? Yes. I, I mean, I confirmed this morning, actually. I made uh -huh. a couple phone calls. Uh -huh. Welcome to the show, folks. <laughs> and uh, you're probably wondering why she's holding this box right here. Why don't you tell them, Michelle? I will tell them. All right, then. I sound like we're doing an infomercial or something. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, all right. We'll tell them about it. Okay. This week's show is going to be a little bit different. We're actually going to do a forum, which means that we're going to have three other singles on the set with Joseph and I, and we're going to be playing this game. The game is called, it's a question card game. It is called Mars and Venus on a Date. Oh. And Mattel sent this game to me, and they were like, please play this game on your show. So is it I, please? Yes, please. Okay. So I think that we're going to play this game, and we're going to see how much fun it is. But what, okay, are we going to play the game or discuss the type of questions that they're asking on the game? What exactly are we doing? Because people want to know. <laughs> they have to watch a show if okay. they want to Okay, oh, right, okay, all right. cool. Well, cool. what the game is kind of about, we have three singles as well as Joseph and I. Mm -hmm. Okay, for instance, like, okay, let's do this. It's kind of like Trivial Pursuit. You game, ask me one, and I'll ask you one. Okay. Okay, I'm you afraid. go first. I'm afraid. Okay, so <laughs> Joseph, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to concentrate. All right, go ahead. Okay, oh. worst dates. Don't ohm. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Worst dates. Okay, Joseph, your yeah. worst date. My worst date. The worst date that you would have, that you go on with, okay. she would dress like a, a folk Sheep. singer. Uh-huh. <laughs> B, a showgirl. Okay. Or C, a sales rep. Sales rep I can handle, showgirl. Why not? I say, I say, I say, <laughs> A, A, definitely. Oh, she better not singer. show up like a folk singer. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, would you like that? I don't, I don't date folk, singer, folk singers. Okay, my, my time, my time, because we're running out of time. Your question is, I am most turned off when a man seems too, too eager, too shy, or too aloof. I don't even know what aloof means, but which one would that be? Uh, too much of a show co-host, so why don't you stay tuned, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Well, but you gotta answer you. the question. Eager, shy, <laughs> or aloof? You don't have to do anything out of watch. Eager, you. shy, or aloof? <laughs> say it, say it, girl. Say it. <laughs> we'll be right shy, back. Shy, <laughs> shy, I know. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love Eat Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about an upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation. Hi, welcome back to the Michelle Valentine Show. This is going to be really fun. I got a couple really questions fun. already. I've got some pretty good cards I looked through. All right. All right. Today's show, like we promised you, is going to be a little bit different. We're doing an open forum, and we're playing this game, which is it's called Mars and Venus on a Date. On a date. It's by Mattel, and there are these cards that you answer the questions. So I'm going to ask. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Before we start, do you want to tell folks about our cruise action gifts? <laughs> All right. All yes. Right. Okay. Cruise. All right, we keep promising you every week more and more information on the Michelle Valentine's cruise to the Bahamas. That's we are, right. So we are so excited. Okay. Did you buy your bathing suit yet? If you <laughs> haven't, make sure you get your bathing suit, get your um, 
suntan lotion and action and all that stuff uh -huh. because we're going. Uh -huh. We are so gone it's not even funny. <laughs> Why don't you tell the folks exactly what it is. Okay, now this cruise is going to be for couples as well as singles. So if you're a couple and you want to kind of renew the romance in your life, come along on this cruise. If you're single, there will definitely be lots of other singles to come along. We have a great rate for everyone and it's going to include like bus transportation mm -hmm. to and from Canaveral. It's going to include, uh, you know, the port charges. It's everything, going to include uh, tips, taxes, gratuity, the whole thing. We're totally going to take care That's of you. That's right. Just so, bring your fine self to the bus <laughs> and not worry about the rest because we'll take care of it from there. <laughs> Absolutely. So if you're interested, you can start giving us a call and you can give us a call at 672-9804 and we'll give you some more details on the cruise to the Bahamas. So All right. are we ready to play the game? We're ready. All right. Good check. Okay. I'm going to ask you guys the first card. Okay. Oh, no. We have to introduce who we're talking to. Yes. Yes, okay. we do. I guess that would be right. fair. Okay, so we're going to go to our first guest, our first single. What is your name? Tell Dag us a little bit about yourself. Dagny. I'm 26. Uh -huh. I work here in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty much it. Where does that name come from? Um, it's an old German name. It's an old German name. It's been in name. the family for a very long time. And what do you uh, do? What do you do here? Um, I kind of, we have the company that I work for. We do communications towers and we work with the communi wireless communications. And oh, that's interesting. I kind of run the Nextel program, things wow, like that. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. And yeah, real, well, real can fun. I ask you real quick what she likes on a, in a guy? What, what do you like on a guy in a prospective person <laughs> that you might date kind of like? A challenge. Of? Oh, Somebody who can handle me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like this girl. Yeah. A strong woman. That's here. right. Yeah. Go for her. It's, it's <laughs> difficult to say the least. Good. All right. All right. And then we have Mark. Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I like to just be a guest um, host on shows. Okay. I mean, that's my life. Cool. He's so just like, job. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this man, I got to watch this guy. I definitely have to watch this guy. And uh -huh. what do you like on a prospective mate? Uh, what, 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 what would you like? I'd say the challenge for me is somebody that's smart. Okay. That's it. You like having good conversations. Mm -hmm. Just so smart do I. girls. So do I. And that, folks, this is the commentary of the day. A good conversation <laughs> is not easy to find. So I tell you, I mean, I believe uh, Mark uh, <clears throat> in what he's saying. And then we have, um, we have uh, Amanda. Amanda, 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 why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, madam? Uh, my name is Amanda. I am okay. 24 years old. Okay. And I also work here in Orlando. Um, I'm a TV producer, and I like to travel and work out and listen to music. Excellent. And what would you like on, on, on a guy, prospective guy that you might date? Well, like on a guy, like clothes on a guy sometimes. All right. <laughs> sometimes. sometimes. Not always. No, I'm just kidding. You know what I like in a guy? Um, I <laughs> Good. I and like the cameraman this girl. is laughing. <laughs> no, I like um, smart guys, fun, um, definitely open-minded, and and exciting. Cool. People who like to do a lot of things. I'm the same Great. way as you. I am the same way as you. <laughs> okay. Well, start with the okay. same for the first question. Then. All right. Now this card is now they have like separate categories. So mm -hmm. this category is dating etiquette. Okay. So you know what? Do you know what etiquette means? Yes, I do. Yes, what I do. What does it mean? It means uh, what type of things uh, would you like to see happening? I mean, what's, what's your, like, uh, protocol? Manners. Protocol. Manners. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Manners. Okay. So this is for the guys. Okay. Dating etiquette. <laughs> I'm concentrating. All right. All right. I'm most likely to search for a date by A, hitting the town, B, going to, like, a party, private party, uh -huh. or C, asking to be set up. Mark, what would you say? Party. Party? Going to a party party, on. private party. Party on, dude. Yeah, that's a great way to meet right. somebody. Right. Think you know so. why? I'm going to say why. Why? Because when you go to a party, you go to a, um, a social gathering where everybody knows each other. Exactly. You know, they're right. friends and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So if you mm -hmm. find somebody you like, mm -hmm. they're comfortable because they're surrounded by people that they right. know. Right. So uh, so I think it's a better setting. And I, I've never really liked meat markets, you know, going out mm -hmm. to like clubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like going out to clubs in a group, mm -hmm. you know, but that's... Uh, well, that's, that's a great way. Most people meet each other through friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think Went we down. had somebody that said that the other day on the show. Yes. Okay. This is another... Well, actually, this is a dating... Etiquette. Etiquette. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, uh, I'm a fuzzy porner, so excuse, excuse the language. I can't tell the most about a man by uh -uh. answers he gives about himself, questions he asks about me, or conversations that he starts. Conversations that he starts, probably. You get to see more of an insight. It's True. not preconceived. You don't, they're not ex actually showing off or trying to be something else. You might, it just can come up. You never know. You're probably more 
learn so if that way. So he just way. starts talking right away about his car or then you know you don't need sport. to be there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. I well, I would think um, the other one would be what he starts talking about himself in a way. Yeah, I agree you know, with that. So if he likes to start to talk right away about his family or his work, you can kind of get an idea of you what he's about. You can get a feel if he's selfish yeah. or if he's exactly. genuine. Uh -huh. And then you can find out, like, is he just constantly talking about himself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. That's, that's got to be a flag with you girls. And, and, uh -huh. I, and I'm sure it goes uh -huh. the same with guys because yeah. a lot of the girls uh -huh. are just, oh, I did this and I did that. And... All right, see. Okay, that's your turn. Talk. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to uh, pick a good one here. Good one. Good one, good one. All right, guys, mm -hmm. in your dreams. Here we go. On a dream date, mm -hmm. I prefer to whisk her off to A, Vegas, okay. B, Venice, okay. or C, the Virgin Islands. Venice. Oh, that's Venice. 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 Ah. Oh, yeah. Venice. Isn't that the gondola oh, well, they tell me, that you yeah, were talking the about the last show we gondola had? Gondola guys. You wanted the gondola with that's all right. the women Remember on the it? writing yeah, show I that remember. I said that? Yes, I love you Venice. wanted like 15 women in your gondola, and oh, I would but then never. it would sink. And, yeah, <laughs> I would never, <laughs> ever say something like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't say any more. Okay. We'll be right back. We have some more great cards and some more great <laughs> questions. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation. Welcome back to Michelle Valentine's show. Are we having fun? Yay! Yes, we are. Yay! Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm the first question. I got, the, I got the first one. Okay. If a first date were bombing, I'd probably be honest about it, escape to the bathroom, which you women do all. <laughs> and you never time. come back from the bathroom. Never okay. come back. <laughs> and uh, and or C, grin and bear it. What would you say? Bear what? Bear it. Bear the bad day. Bear the <laughs> not bearing day. anything. It's not a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I really tell them. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God! This woman is sick. This woman is sick. Folks. I think okay. I'm blushing. Okay, what was the first okay? Okay, the I'm first? just gonna what read the, the question one? again because we lost it. I even <laughs> forgot the question. If a first date were bombing, I'd probably be honest about it, escape to the bathroom, or green and bear it. Grin and bear it. Um, grin and bear it. Grin and bear it. I, I guess grin and bear it. I guess I mean, we to the say end. we would be honest about it, but when you're in the moment, you're just like, God, please let me out of here and be, you know, painless true, about it. I mean, true. it kind of to depends. be polite. But why do I mean, we it do depends. that? Though? What if you're only at the sal what, what if you're sheep. just at the salad part and you're like, oh my gosh, I still have to go through the whole entree, the dessert, the coffee. You know, so I what once. Would you think? What would you expect? Okay, someone to do? I once was <laughs> in a very bad day. Mm -hmm. Right, I I went out with this lady. She mm -hmm. was really nice, mm -hmm. but she was just not my type. Mm -hmm. And actually, it was kind of like a blind date type mm -hmm. of deal. So what I did was, um, after the other couple that we were with, they went out dancing, and I just uh, started talking to this lady, and we were just not agreeing on anything. <laughs> so I told her right off the bat, it's like, well, you know what, I really, really like you, but I don't think that we could ever be together for more than five seconds. And you know what, after that, 
the night went great. Really? And we just, yeah, because pressure was off. Yeah. We went out dancing. Good. We had a great time. Never saw each other again, mind you. <laughs> but, but we had a great... So it was a good night. Yeah. You know, something night. to do. So, what do you, so Mark, what do you think uh, women, what do you think women should do? What would you rather have I her do? I think you guys should talk about it. Mm -hmm. but so we should just in say, reality, Mark, you won't. I'm yeah. really not having a good time I with do. you. Can I leave now? <laughs> Tell Mark to hit the road. But you don't have to leave. That's the point, though. That yeah. maybe by just coming open about it mm -hmm. and and shedding all of that, uh, you know, inhibition. Yeah, inhibition. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and just just have fun for whatever is going to happen that night. Just have fun. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, right. your turn. Ooh, here's another in your dreams. Well, this might be a little unfair. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. No, no, read it, read it. Girl. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. in my, in your dreams, this is what you would think: more women would consider as their dream date a Robin Williams, b Michael Jordan, or c John F. Kennedy Jr. I'll let you take that one. JFK. <laughs> JFK, no doubt. Number Why? Is, Why? No doubt. Money and power. Well, also, he's been so built up in. The, in the media. I mean, the, every time, mm -hmm. like when he was going through his bar mm -hmm. exam, you know, they were all mm -hmm. over that, and, and when he was going to get married, and people were just... Uh, well, and he owns that magazine, too. He owns yeah. the magazine. Uh -huh. He's a very okay. smart fellow. So. All right. I would say Robin Williams. So. I would, too. Robin what? Williams, right? Why? Because, Why? No right. way. Right. Yes, Why? definitely. Because he's funny. Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, and uh, we're going to ask some yeah. more questions. I got a good one. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation. Alrighty then, and we're back. <laughs> Welcome back. You know what? This I love this game. This game is good because it uh, it shows you a lot about what people think. It's good to get like a bunch of people together because if you're digging, some, this is fun. This yeah, is if you're cool. digging somebody in the group, you know what I'm saying. You mm -hmm. know, you know what to do and what not to do. <laughs> Alrighty then. You lie in the answers if you really like them. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now for thirty-five thousand dollars and the last points of the game. Uh, if I okay, when I kiss, this is dating dating. Um, well, how do you say this word again? Etiquette. Etiquette. Thank you. When I first kiss a man, and I don't mean myself, thank you, <laughs> I am most likely to tell my friends, we just got together, we made out, he kissed me. Which one would it be? Um, it depends on who you're telling. Like, if you tell your sister, you tell her, like, you know, you just tell her what happened. But, like, if you're telling your friend, you, like, I would definitely you just, like, it jazz it up. Yeah, it <laughs> you know what? It also <laughs> depends on the date. <laughs> It depends on the date too. But True. It, it depends like on who you're telling. Like the better looking or the oh, yeah. better something or like whatever your girl. Oh, like exactly. if your girlfriend said something about him earlier, like oh, he's like really he's cute. great looking or he's really cute, then you might want to play up like that part of it. Okay. But I, I got I got one observation though that I've noticed. Women when they talk about their dates or or guys in general. Mm -hmm. I think they tend to be a little bit more forward than even guys are. Is that true, or is it is it my no. impression? When you're I think alone. When they don't hold back, buddy. When you're 
That's they don't, true. They, they do, do you guys hold back when do you're you just by yourself? You guys are just guys? as bad or worse than us. Look at Dagny. Dagny's playing it back. No, do you think we're honestly going to sit here and tell you all these little secrets? Yes, you uh, are. No. Yes. No, okay. No, Absolutely but seriously, not. you do. You we do, should do, do like a review. We could do, oh my gosh, you we wish could do a we TV did. show of like revealing secrets. Okay, but you're not telling me what I asked you. They're right. We're not. And we're not going to. Next question. Because we don't want to answer it. Well, okay. Wait a second. So, which which was the answer? A, B, or C? Real quick. Kiss. 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 Pacify him. Sure. Kiss. Okay. 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 This is a good question. Okay. Dating etiquette. I'm most likely to give up on a woman if she A, doesn't return my first call, B, expects me to always call, or C, if she calls you all the time. C, 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 <laughs> C. B and C. I, I no, think C okay. because, I mean, if, uh, I don't think that, no matter where it comes from, if, you, if you're dating somebody mm -hmm. or that person is dating you, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're constantly calling them and bugging them, come on. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody wants mm -hmm. their privacy and they want a little time of tranquility. Does that count for email, too, though? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If you're having a virtual yeah. relationship and you're getting emailed a hundred times a day, mm -hmm. but um, but email is different though because uh, phone calls is like if you're home you have to pick up the phone. If you're not home you have a thousand messages on the machine. So I don't know. It's kind of like a give and take. Okay, here, Joseph. I have a question for you. Did you just ask a question. What? What? Am I asking another one? It's a good All part. right. All right, okay. Joseph. Okay. And then I got one. Tell all the ladies out there in your dreams, your right. dream date wear something. This is what she's wearing. Okay. A, something classy, B, something skimpy, C, something casual. Classy. 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 Yeah. Nobody said skimpy? No. 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 That's for the other women. Amen. You Amen. want your what woman other to be women? classy. Amen. Everyone else's woman you want to be oh. trash. <laughs> so you can look. Yeah. No, 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 seriously. I, I, uh -huh. I think classy. Classy. Uh -huh. classy. Don't you, don't you ladies like somebody well-dressed instead of just like tight pants showing everything? <laughs> Seriously? Well? <laughs> uh, okay, I know that you like the other one too, but I mean, you know, if you're going to a nice place. Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. During the first stages of dating, men tend to advertise themselves, share themselves, lie about themselves. Advertise. Advertise. Yeah. No, yeah. they lie though. And they like to. Oh, you think part of the advertising? She is so right. It is, it's such a part yeah. of the advertising. She's right. A and C. Well, there's competition. You guys have competition, so you yeah. have to like promote like you know I do this and I do that. Talking and about I've competition, done this do you think that women compete more against each other than men do? No, I don't think so. I have no. heard I've from heard women. Say it's about the same. Is it about the same? I've no. heard. I heard women say that it's harder for women to get along with other women than it is for men to get along with men mm. because women tend to compete against each hmm. other more. Only if you're not compete sure against, yourself. Yeah, compete against what? Oh, I mean, you know, like look the prettiest or attract the most attention or, or something to that effect. Do you, do you ladies see that happening? No? I think it depends on the group of people. Okay. Definitely. In yeah. their maturity level. Definitely. Okay. Well, I mean, I know I was like going that like when I was in college, like when I was a freshman and a sophomore. Yeah, you go yeah. out in groups of girls and everybody's. And everybody's trying to attract right. the attention. Okay, right. cool, cool. You got a question? Okay, let's All right, right, let me see. I'm trying to pick a really, really good one here. All right. Okay. No, I don't like this one. Wait, wait, I got one while you're looking. <laughs> In your dreams, ladies, yeah. my dream date is specially talented because he's a good dancer, <laughs> he's a good massager, and he cooks real well. <laughs> Which one would it be? <laughs> cooks real well. Cooks real well? A good dancer. Good dancer. <laughs> good dancer. Oh, you! I, <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna say massager because you keep talk, she keeps talking about massages and stuff like that. So. Why do I keep talking about massages? I'm, oops, I'm sorry. I think I let the cat out of the bag. I'm I don't sorry. even know what he's talking about. Well, anyway, tell the folks about the cruise again because we're about to leave and, and you want to tell it. I might get a massage on the cruise. I probably will because I'll need to like de-stress from having you as my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're supposed to go on this cruise to have fun and party and then I've got to put up with you through the whole show. It's but we are taping fun. the show. We are doing a taping of the Michelle Valentine show on this cruise. So if you're interested in going along with this cruise, it will be a blast. Call us at 672-9804 for more information. And we'll be in touch. And we'll take this game with us, too. <laughs> we'll be right back.
you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love Eat Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation.